Okay, so um, in, I guess, what would be a traditional job in the U.S. economy, how would healthcare work, or how does health insurance work okay. in that position? In the traditional model in the United States, say circa 1970, um, people would get health insurance through their work. They may be contributing some directly themselves. Employers generally provided most of the cost. Some people would get health insurance through Medicare, which is a program of Social, Social Security Administration that everybody pays Social Security taxes into Medicare throughout their working lives. Then at about age 65, you start to collect benefits um, in that you now get health insurance through the government. Others would be caught in the so-called safety net programs, notably Medicaid, which is health insurance provided by the federal and state governments, a mixed federal and state program. Medicaid provides health insurance to people who are below the minimum, general, it used to be the um, poverty level income, basically. Um, so poor people who don't have jobs get Medicaid, old people, Medicare, everybody else would be picked up through employment. They'd get health insurance through work. Now that's been eroding, that's been collapsing even. The proportion of Americans getting health insurance through work has been declining. Um, uh, so now in America, about half of the population gets health insurance through work. 5% buys individual plans. And before the Affordable Care Act, 15% or so of Americans went without health insurance at all. You know, we like to think that we have the best health care in the world, and in some for some people, we do have very, very good health care. We've got some of the best doctors, best hospitals, most advanced technology. But for all that, we are 45th in the world in life expectancy. Health insurance has been, and health care in the United States has been becoming more and more expensive. Americans now spend $9,000 per person on health care, double what people pay in other countries, what people spend in other countries. We're spending twice as much as Canadians to get worse health care. We spend three times as much as people in Britain to get much worse health care. Um, the reason health care is becoming so expensive in the United States is not because Americans go to the doctor. We don't. We go to the doctor less than do people in other countries. We use most health procedures less than do people in other countries. The reason is because the price of health care is inflated by the enormous administrative burden that we've put into our healthcare system is simply phenomenal. How expensive it is to administer healthcare in this country, which is basically a problem of the billing process, the way we pay for healthcare. The average American hospital has more people involved in billing and insurance than they do beds in the hospital. The largest occupation in the United States in healthcare is billing and insurance related activities. The average American doctor in private practice spends over $80,000 a year on billing and insurance related activities. The average doctor in Canada spends virtually nothing because in Canada where you have single payer, you walk into a hospital um, or a doctor's office, they swipe your card. Instructions go out to the provincial health insurance, um, and a check is cut, sent to the provider, done. Um, Toronto General Hospital has two people involved in billing and insurance, exclusively working for Amer people from the United States and other countries, because Canadians basically don't need anybody to do billing and insurance. Massachusetts General Hospital, which has about the same number of people, uh, patients and doctors and beds as Toronto General. Massachusetts General Hospital has over 450 people doing billing and insurance. They have a whole building filled with billing and insurance people. We could save $400 billion in the United States if we reduced the billing and insurance activities to the Canadian level. If we 
eliminated the cost-related access ba barriers, the things that, the cost items that keep people from going to the doctor, um, we would reduce mortality in the United States by about 400,000. That's more than we would save by doing away with smoking. It's comparable to the number of lives we would save by doing away with all heart disease.